stuff. But if you really want to, if I were a tomato, it'd be time to take to take me off the bridge. Wait, not like that. But that really looks like a white tomato too. Of course not. I didn't think of anything like that at all. I for one am a decent girl. What do you mean you for one? I am the indecent one in he said that on me. Why you <laughs> get back you? We're just trying to get away from the person just as so the catch Chris is coming to play. Take that! I will not tolerate interest from a girl in a meme sweater. <laughs> oh, don't be a so illusional. Listen, no way. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like the old relationship. Let me get the deck real quick. Funny, funny, funny. It could be a lady that's driven on the gush way, or maybe those new tasks we made are really working. And tip for, for sure, but either way, all seems peaceful and quiet. Eventually, we do fall asleep together, like two decent clothes. The dark hot water gently erodes my skin. White steam rises above the surface. Place this place. This used to be a home. Say, you want to know the truth? Hang on. Change my keyboard. Once there lived two families in the same village, both which respected. It was also a third family who lived in the forest. The witches for autumn leaves and respect was their treat. Come summer, they prince in the fields and where they did, the crops plentiful. And when to the strength warmth and they washed arrested in a wilderness place, the interest to which was kept secret. Only one of the village families was worthy of that secret. But the second family wanted to know how to get into the place too. And so they decided to arrange a marriage between the two families to get what they want. For the wedding, the bride said to be to the groom, If you love me, tell me how to enter the forest pal pal palace. It was Winchel. Why are you tell me this? Look. The water is red. I can see red, it's kind of. Why is it red? Wake up, you lazy bun. We're going shopping. Shopping? You? That's quite hard to imagine. Is that what you call... Is, is that what you call robbing a bill stash here in the sticks? After ending the happiness, I can believe my eyes. Right now, they're hitting a push of passive energy. And that is scary, Hawaii. Hmm. Make it sound like one of the edge of the world. Are we not? We have a wonderful little town. Don't trigger me, <laughs> that That's more like regular wind. Now that I'm less afraid of for my life, I should get out from under the covers. Okay, shopping it is. And what are we gonna buy? Sake! <laughs> what? When I didn't say that you're upset after yesterday, but. but turning into drastic alcoholism is not the answer. Relax, it's not for us. Who is a boy? For the kitchen, of course. Are you going to get the magic fox drunk? Is that your big plan? A part of it, yes. Besides, okay, we need lots of other things. Like what? Well, at the very least, tofu to make a boo our age. So hard liquid overcooked tofu is supposed to save my life. <laughs> no, you dummy. It's me who's going to save your life. You need sake tofu as offerings. We will look. The kitchen out, help her manifest, and when she drops her guide, I'll be sure to remind her of all the pleasant moments we've been through. Someone must enter for my tarnish honor. You're the one who tarnished it. Which is me a widow look. <laughs> he probably shouldn't have said that last one. Even though her eyes are magic, it gives me the creeps. Did you say something? Uh, none. You can't on my... You kill me, never Jesus. 
Okay, that's... I think that's it. I look at the piece of paper scribbled in the Wednesday here, Wine. When you save a suit, down between the gushy walls, look for something. Wow. Boy, no enjoy for a while, but I feel like I've known Wynn for ages. Probably better than most other people. There, the last one. Moving on to the checkout. Come on, look alive. We don't have much time before the world gets snowed in. Boy well, has been bad since this morning. We sh shall have a big storm by the evening. Sure, it's a lovely little town. Oh, get ready for some kind of celebration, Miss Wren? Not special. Just a cozy evening for two. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't say that last point. <laughs> wait for the evening to come. Or oh, rather, when is waiting for the evening and preparing for the summer ritual while I'm busy cooking. Who would have thought spirits are so racist? When healed me with the chopping, but I won't let her anywhere near the bullying or. Might as well burn the house down myself. And when she gets stuck outside. Although spring should have taken over longer ago to even a stock like it still went to. <clears throat> the old boys squirm in the table when and outside the window the heavy sticky snow comes down in the solid wall. It seems like there's no force or time outside the window, just a raging blizzard in the dark. What a weather. Just right for some of the dark spirits. You scared me! <laughs> Come, I'm very new ready. Wow. It looks impressive. Just how when I managed to set the table while I was looking out the window. Everything looks delicious. A pity it's not meant for us. Yes, we're almost ready for our dearest guests. There's just one last thing left. And... Uh... What? Those are... Like Pinsies. Yes. Why? When shrugs your shoulders. That's what the custom requires. Which one? Just what are you going to do here? You know that traditionally none is worn, worn under a ki kimono, right? But you're not wearing a kimono! <laughs> and that is to make up for it! <laughs> okay, I can eat all piece in my efforts and all! I do hope at least the kids will be more supportive! <laughs> How am I supposed to be participate in this now that I know? Wow, you actually is for someone who's been expecting my winners of binoculars? Just put it out of your mind. Yeah, why? Wow, that's very doable with a pair of wins, pants, lying casually wine in the middle of the table. Time to start the ritual. We're slowly pulling socket to three wine cups. Here you go. Did you say it wasn't for us? Well, that's mostly true. Because has to believe we're having a feast. All you did was she let her guard down and join us. Anyway, this is the case when you get both business and pleasure. Let's start eating. Well, okay. This is delicious. We have a real time for cooking. Hey, well, leave something for the fox. I'm having a feast here over here. It's not fair. I want to try too. I haven't made it all. You should have made more. Fox are very racist, mind you. Are you sure you don't have a tail then? I think this is a good time. Uh. When you close your eyes and start to whisper something to yourself. Is she praying or cast a spell? I can't hear a word to see her lips me silently. Finally, when it stops. I don't know what to expect and I freeze up with a cup of my hand. Nothing happens. <clears throat> we don't seem to be getting anywhere. Oh, wait, one more thing. Ah. Uh, suddenly, wind leans towards me. Okay, you just kind of threw that out on me. Was this whole plan this whole time or what? What? The cup falls out of my wicked fingers. When I soft the lips and the bush is soft too. Okay, sorry, you just. You caught me off guard. A whole new tip is with that one. Because I don't even feel like there's any love blossoming yet. This is good. I see bullshit friends. That just kind of hit me in the left field. She pushes against me with her whole body. My heart is beating faster and faster. It feels as if it's about to fly out. 
Kumi can't believe it, Princess. How come Kumi and Princess are meant for each other? Kumi can't take it anymore. Huh? What's going on? That's a beautiful girl with fox ears and fluffy tears sitting right across the table for me. She's still nice and this by eating up everything left on the table by a truly inhuman place. Poor Kumi's little hearts. Ha! Got you! Who? Before I knew it, the fox is lying on the floor and went to sit on top of the fox. Now you are answer for all your crimes! Oh! But Kumi did nothing wrong! Who's Kumi? Kumi is... The fox is... Lord digs for a minute, then pokes her chest with a finger. Kumi! Oh, is that so? But who's some of the evil spirits here? Almost... Who almost drawn the school who lives in this house? Not Kumi! Kumi tried to protect Princess, but for some reason, Princess always wipes away Kumi's good dinies. Kumi threw good dinies through charcoal because Kumi had no ink. So that's where all the endless dance came from. Kumi was receiving no arvin, so Kumi was weak, but she did her best. Kumi loves Princess very much and would never do that bad for her. Which are you talking about? This princess. The fluffiest among us. Kumi and Myers. Kumi would have frustrated her sick, but Kumi shall be lying down. Me? Oh. Who? When? <laughs> when you whip her to him? Oh, yes, I will. If the stupid wax and doesn't start telling the truth right now. But Kumi is telling the absolute truth. The most truthful one. Really? We're caught red hair and stealing our meats. Have you forgotten already? Kumi is sorry. Kumi is very sorry. The meat was so delicious and Kumi was so hungry. Please forgive me, Kumi. Don't rip her tail off. Silence you. Answer me. He was behind all that's going on in the house. How is Kumi supposed to answer? She has to stay silent. Kumi doesn't understand. You little... I actually feel bad for Kumi. Not gonna lie. I really feel like... I feel like she's actually trying to save... June, but she was not getting no offense or nothing, so she wasn't able to do this much of a job. So, um, man, slow down, stop. I'm not letting you torture, uh, animals at my place. Are you nuts? What do you mean, animals? First of all, she's a yokai, a demon. A second, she's a cold blooded killer trying to look cute and innocent. You really fall for such a cheap trick? Can't believe it. Princess is protecting Kumi. Kumi is happy. Does Princess recognize Kumi? Does Princess love Kumi back? I wonder if that's... You know what? It's hard to tell because we've only seen the kind of more chest area, but I wonder if that's the girl in her dreams. Well, it doesn't... She, but the girl in, in June's dream doesn't talk the same as this one. What? No. Not like that. Are you sure? You lash out at me for every little thing and here you suddenly must really... You're, you're suddenly... What's the fault to no ends? Friends, stop it! We're supposed to be working as a team. <laughs> I just want us to have a civil conversation. This fox seems to know something. Wouldn't it be better to at least try and listen to her? You can always use violence later. Alright. But keep in mind, fox, the fear of your tail is being decided right now. Try any stupid. Man, just why are you bullying her now? Since you two already got such a deep mutual understanding, maybe you want to try this one ax try asking this the one accent uh, maybe you want to be the one the one that asks a question you in. Uh, well maybe it will in fact be better this way. At least I have a chance of learning something. Do you know what's going on? What do you cover? Why do you call me a princess? Because princess is a princess. Kumi thinks so. Kumi didn't see princess for a long, long time. Princess must have changed. But why me? Kumi saw princess fluffy as tail. What? No way. Is she talking about when Kumi woke up, she went to live in the human world? It was difficult. Things have changed a lot, but Kumi likes it. There was a TV now. Kumi saw Princess on TV right through 
Which were long ears and the tail more beautiful than any Kumi has ever seen. After that, Kumi immediately knew what she had to do. This is Princess the Promise. Oh, did they put me on? Put me on TV? No, no, no. What? Oh, I think we kind of get into her past life a little bit. What tail? Why is this living fuel? Why is this living fuel color talking about? A ch June? Uh, June, this may be a point uh, for showing out your problems. What's she talking about? Oh, no, that's gonna get me into more problems when it's looking at me carefully. Well, the thing is, after all, I know when secret. I think she's just no mine. Weave in. About. I've been posting videos on few events starting myself. What? Oh. Uh -huh. Yes, now I know why it's... Yeah, yes, now I know why it's a tilted thing to do. But back then, I didn't know Kitchen existed. I thought all the negativity was just prejudice. Can't show that either. Showing a lot of butt. I mean, I thought there was going, there was nothing wrong with wearing a, it was a tail. I thought I wasn't doing any harm. I mean, they are so fluffy and cute. Maybe my content was a little bit indecent. Sometimes. But people liked it. They liked me. People gave me lots of nasty comments, but other people admired me. They told me I was wonderful, beautiful. I felt like I was beloved, needed. When I moved to the big city from my hometown, I didn't have any friends. No one cared about me. No one gave a thing, so I thought nobody would find out. Besides, I hardly had any money. I found some office shop, but it didn't pay much, and I wanted to save up for college. I thought few fans would solve all my problems, and then one of my colleagues found out about my profile. At first, I didn't understand what was going on. All the chuckles behind my back, all the looks, all the conversations that stopped right into the room. And then I got caught to, to the management. And I was doing my job well, my KPIs were high. I was sure that my moral character wasn't not suitable for the company. They said I was a stubborn environment. I got fired. And the people who bullied me, they probably still spend their time at the water cooler discussing new hot videos during their working hours. I got unlucky enough so that my story hit the press, but I didn't know it would go this far. I was put on TV. How embarrassing. I never wash away my shame. I can't go back to the civilized world now, ever. So those ears and tears are just a costume? Wow, you're, wow, you're so annoying. That's naughty. Oh no. Of course it was a costume. Or do you know, or do you think I go with tail on four moons? Princess Tail is not real? I hope not. Otherwise, I would have to rip off two hotels. Princess is not real? Well, that's good news. G good news? What do you mean? Well, if you had kids in your language, it would be a very serious matter. But as it is, you're just an average fluffy too, Finn. Or should I say a sophisticated fluffy too, and you oh. <laughs> Don't say that! That sounds so lewd. Lewd. Oh, you're the expert, so I just have to agree. <laughs> you sound second like those naughty colleagues. Okay, okay, I'll stop there. Sorry. And are you going to try to kick me out of town or something? No, why would I? I only disapprove of the problem like interest in kids today. Are the girls a cute audience, however, would be also considered allies to your sound. Girls can... Now that you're on the straight and narrow, you could, well, let's see if you can see your specialization. Don't even think about it. Fake tail, not real. Oh, she's conflicted. Um. Check out actual all these questions, I presume. Where did you come from? Where did it even come from? It's a long story, but Kumi can tell you to it. It would be better for Kumi to start quickly, otherwise Ben will lose your patience and Kumi will lose your tail. When? 
Kill me with tea, you have it in. So a very long time ago, there was no town here, but there was a village. There was a family in the village, which you knew was, whom everyone loved to revert as they were to a uh, witchess. They healed people a lot, but not just people, spirits too. These people were friends of Inori family. Inori were, were Kumi and lots of Kumi sisters. Kumi misses your sister very much. They, they can't be. Are you saying that the Fukuyama were allied with the foxes? Fukuyama? Kumi knows Fukuyama, but no, she's talking about Lashinui. Fukuyama is traitors. They got many of my sisters killed. Just two. What are you saying, you demon spawn? When little finish, you agreed to talk before, didn't you? I've heard enough. The fox keeps blatantly lying and slandering my family. Kumi said the truth. Kumi twists your tail. Oh, why? Right. Keep spinning your fairy tale. There were inconsistencies all over it. Your story were never numerous. No one in the white right mind would want to be part of the dark me of the dark mage clan. Kumi remembers what she remembers. Your story were many. You could Yama were many too. Both of which, but if you go maybe also greedy. They want to cut trees in the Nori forest. Yusnori won't let them, so if you go and spread rumors about Yusnori in Inori. Yusnori will banish. Inori had to flee. Or to steal trees and get more money. Stupid greedy Fukuyama. They didn't know the forest is bad. Bad? What do you mean, Fox? There are bad things in the forest. You can make them good, but it's hard. Lots of work. I know he was trying hard, you just know he helped. That, that was the agreement. There was a lot of magic there, it does this. Kirby claps your hands loudly and shines your fingers. It grows and grows until it becomes really big. Spirits get caught inside, sometimes good ones, sometimes bad. <clears throat> you have to be clean or it would be bad. Bad forest. Why did the fox just live in the forest if it was so bad? What's out? Was it out of great and pure love for people, perhaps? And now I know how to clean the forest and then it becomes good and nice to live in. But you need power for that. Power comes from offense. People make offense. There's no way would make offense. No way would become stronger and clean the forest. Kirby thinks it's very easy to understand. Even for you, Fukuyama. Kirby, you sorry? Kirby takes your watch back. Kirby backs your spirit to tail. Okay, so you're saying that the forest is getting corrupted by something like a bunch of spirits smushed together? That's why, oh, why is this a Fukuyama? Like tofu cheese? Like tofu cheese? Kirby loves tofu. Interesting. Does that make any sense to you? I don't want to believe a single word that this counter says, but yes, I think so. We've been having certain issues for our Solomon for some time now. Something's affecting it. The accidents grow more frequent and severe each passing year. We've been getting strange reports from the workers too. Every such case was investigated, but I haven't been able to find anything out. Kimmy's not lying at all. Kimmy won't lie to Princess. Even the strongest Fukuyama didn't threaten to rip her tail off. Okay. This one. Were you trying to possess me? Princess Princess? How? What for? Kimi doesn't understand. Just you look at this embodiment of innocence. I almost believed her. But it's the truth. Kimi has come to make Princess remember. Remember? How am I supposed to remember you if I don't know you? We've been together before. 200 years ago, Kimi thinks. Princess promised that she would return in 200 years. Kimi was very much waiting. Are you just going to give me the choice and not answer that question? 200 years? Uh, I'm assuming there's some kind of reincarnation thing going on, maybe? That the person 200 years ago said that? And then, through reincarnation, you would get June. Ow. That's my guess. Don't know if that's right. It's also possible that the person who said that had some kind of magic that could make him live eternally, like, without aging, but... That person died, 
from maybe a ward or something, and then I never was able to fulfill that promise. But that's another guess. Do you know anything about what's going on in this house? Why do I keep seeing all these terrible things? Is this your doing? Could me begs Princess to forgive her. Could me try very hard to stop terrible things from happening, but they still happen. Kumi hasn't received offense in a long time, so she can't do much. Kumi get got the offense now. Maybe she could do more? So you know why this has happened, don't you? Kumi knows. It's the forest. Forest? What are you talking about? What does the forest have to do with what's going on in the house? The forest used to be here. The house is in the forest. It seems like the forest is no more, but it is still here. The forest is very... Dirty and angry now because it has to be cleaned for a long time. Lots of spirits. This is the special place where so spirits go here. Kumi thinks she and Princess can help. But for that, Princess must remember Kumi. Kumi understands now. Kumi was wrong, it seems. Kumi didn't want to scare anyone. Kumi is very sorry that this happens. She is really, really sorry. Kumi got lay stronger. Kumi will try to fix it all herself. What? Everything happens as if in the, game. the next moment when is already grabbing onto the air. All you catch a glimpse of Kumi's tail flashing to joy. Hey, where do you think you're going? When she was acting rather quick, she must have prepared for this scenario. But Ko and Shoda are way ahead, and then grabs her stuff and her way out to a fox can dress as she goes. I won't let you get away, demon. Friend! I meant to grab Wen's hand. I think we should go with her. But not to mention, I also feel like, uh, she's gonna try to do it all herself, and I don't think she'll be able to. I think she's gonna need help. Wait. I'll go with you. But, there's a place outside, and you're just going out there alone? Let me go. Fox is getting away. She's already gone. Say it's safe, she's a spirit, a demon, didn't you? And you're only human, are you planning to follow her alone at night in the blizzard? I know you won't stop, but at least take me with you. When has a strange expression on the face? I... Okay, get dressed quickly. We went out of the house. Everything is covered with snow and the layers getting thicker with each passing minute. Try to stay calm, close to wind, and not lose sight of what I know it's difficult at times. I think that was a good choice. I should be sad because I feel like the, the fox is going to be after him. I don't know. She's a yokai demon, so I don't know if they could die. But if she, it's possible that she could die, that could be a possibility. Like they have lives. So it might be good if he left her, then we may never see her again. Well, she's up to I don't want to leave her alone, especially now. And even if she. The yokai doesn't die, I feel like Wynn could because she would be out here alone. We don't find any footprints. Maybe they got covered in snow, or maybe just Kumi just didn't leave them. She's a spirit after all. The snowfall is getting heavier. I can barely move my feet. Man, I'm going to freeze. Let's go back, please. You should have stayed home. I should have taken you with me. Man, you're shaking. Not at all. Why do you always get in my way? Well, someone has to. You come with no bricks included, dang it. <laughs> I'll be fine. I touch my shoulders. I mean it, Ren. Let's go back. No way. I have to follow the track while it's fresh. Oh, come on, Ren. Do you even have any actual tracks? Because I don't. But the fox is... Forget the fox. We won't find her in a blizzard like this anyway. There should be something else we're missing. We... They won't... Find an eater if you're in a prison death. That won't help anyone. Uh, I hate to admit it, but you're probably right. There actually might be a good reason for your cranium to be that thick. Hey, now stop talking to my cranium already. We finally have to go back home. We did drink, drink, drink lots of hot chocolate having movie nights. <laughs> Why don't? Quickly, we don't have any. We don't find any we miss, except maybe the fact we both need a friend for a long time now. Can't say we turn into 
Beastie's overnight, but small steps, you know. Or Bessie's overnight, but small steps, you know. Jeez, my bad. Despite Wind's expectations, none would have a choice anymore. Wait a day, a two, a week. Maybe it's a new protective series we can put up everywhere, or maybe Kumi we did to fix everything. Guess I never know now, although I kind of want you. The heart to stop the series Kumi left, but I somehow don't feel like she was his bad spirit after all. I wonder if she's okay out there. Sometimes when I feel like I've cooked too much, I put munchies on the open window. They're usually gone by nighttime. I know that's probably the, the bullets. I started making my own manga after all. Well, not really my own, but the stories in it are all mine, every last one. Born turned out harder than I thought it would be. Luckily, when I solution, she just me to all as she moved to go to paint landscapes. She's a little shy, but incredibly cute. She got along great, and I'm like a quick getting in popularity online. Born chance buying tickets search for a mysterious girl who lives with her friends at a tiny town at the edge of the town world. And won't trade it for anything else. Twin Pines, and if I was afraid I would get in and like that. I didn't want that in. I thought I made a good choice. It's a huge help. So, okay, there's like other idiots, and I don't care which one's where I die, but like, if that was the legitimate end, and that's how it ends, if that's the true ending, I don't like that. I'm sorry, I think that was just too whooped. They could have had you follow the spirit and you could have worked together. And then just suddenly the spirit just doesn't show up again. Like, <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I just don't like that ending. I hate that ending. Yeah, I've had games that do something similar to before, but like usually like once you pick the right choice, you continue on and you solve the issue at hand. But you don't see Kumi ever again and she did fix, I guess, whatever happened with the offerings, but like... Whatever happened to Kumi, like, something bad had to happen. I just, I'm gonna go back to it after this credits and check again. I'm gonna choose the other option. There was multiple choices, and I tried to pick out the good choices, but I think there was a lot of other gallery stuff too. Uh, so I'm gonna look at the gallery and see if there's anything. If, uh, if the gallery's filled out, it's probably fucking, um... The true ending because there's not be not new, but I just feel like that it is way too abruptly. That's what I don't like about it. Yep, there's more scenes. Why you? Do I have to choose to leave her alone? 